Hello and welcome to our next edition of How To K2. Today we're going to be stepping through a process with the Visual Studio debugger. Let's get started. We start off in Visual Studio taking a look at a simple process. Let's break into the mail event code and click past our schedule for Workflow Foundation. We see in here we have some very basic code that is added just for demo purposes as we walk through it. Let's deploy our process so that we can then attach and run through it. We click deploy and we can again see in the lower left hand corner we will see the status of our deployment. We can click to deploy and wait for that to succeed. Now what we need to do is actually attach to the K2 server process. We select from our list of processes the K2 server.exe so we'll show all processes and find the one we're looking for here, k 2 herserverexe There we go. Once that's selected, we can click Attach. Now what we want to do is set a breakpoint. We'll set it right here at our folio string. And now start a new process for this. So we'll click Start New and we'll call it uh, My New Process. Now we're going to have to load the data field since the data field is what we added custom code for. We'll give this one a value of 777 and click Start. Now we can go back to our Visual Studio screen and begin stepping through. As we step over, we'll see some values start to appear, and more specifically the one we just added, my new process and the request ID of 777. We can still step over into each line of code that's in here and start to see the various values as they progress. That was a very quick example of how to step through a process. One of the things you'll need to enable is remote debugging. You can get more information on that in the Microsoft KB article listed on the screen. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.